Travel back in time with a trip inside the Iowa's News Now vault. There isn't much left of the Kenneth Smith bar. The twisters stopped the clocks at 7.13. They heard the roar and went to the basement. The worst was the uh, cracking of the glass and the uh, boards and what have you breaking and plaster falling in the basement. He knew things was going to be gone when we got up out of the basement again. The house is completely gone. That's, we'll have to start from scratch on that. The Smiths and four other farms north of the town of Low Moor are hardest hit. Luckily, there was only one injury. An 81-year-old DeWitt man was driving his pickup when the wind threw the vehicle in this ditch. He managed to crawl out before the wind tossed his truck 90 yards into a field. This is what's left of it. The driver is in satisfactory condition. Clinton County Deputy Larry Greenwald was warning people to take cover when he saw the funnel coming. Well, it just sounded like a big train going by, and then I come upstairs to see and seen everything blowing around out there, so I went back to the basement. Pretty so, scary experience. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. Never want to see another one, so I know that. Not that close, anyway. The twister hit a little after 7. It only took a few minutes to destroy the farms. At 11.15, just four hours after the tornado hit, rescue crews were working feverishly trying to do the jobs that couldn't wait until morning. They were worried this leaking propane tank might explode, but they managed to plug the leak. The farms will be rebuilt. As Kenneth Smith says, we have no choice. This is all we have. John Altenburn, Channel 2 News Watch, Clinton County.